Sixers fans, here we are on the eve of their first playing game, where our seventh ranked Sixers will host the eighth ranked Miami Heat for the right to enter the 2024 NBA playoffs. They wouldn't even be in this predicament if brittle ass Joel and B didn't get hurt every year as usual. Man, you could set your watch to it. Listen, yo, don't be starting your shit, man. Let's just be glad that the brother is back and that Sixers have been rolling. They've won eight straight games since his return. All I know is when I tuned in the other day and B grabbed the rebound, dribbled up court, ignored the guards, dribbled right into a double team, tried to force up a shot, turnover, I changed the damn channel. I ain't watching this bullshit. Same old MB. Seriously, bro? In the five games he's played in since he returned, he's averaging 30 points a game, nine rebounds, and five assists. Man, if he keeps rolling like that, Ain't no way we're not getting out of the second round this year. The second round? Man, you better worry about Jimmy Buckets coming in here and torturing y'all ass again. Everybody know Tobias Harris is his bitch. <laughs> not this time, chump. Man, we finally got all the right pieces to match up with the Heat. I also like how we match up against the Knicks in the next round. Man, we about to make some noise in these playoffs. The second ranked New York Knicks? Man, y'all ain't ready for them. Even without Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, and OG Ananobi, we want to crush y'all ass. Ain't no way we losing to the Knicks without Randle. Come on, man. They can't beat us. Listen, ain't nobody worried about no OG. Nick Nurse knows all his strengths and weaknesses. We got a plan for that, brother. Yo, all this talk is for nothing. Because y'all gonna lose to the Heat first, and then eventually have to face the number one ranked Celtics. And we all know how that's gonna turn out. Jason Tatum. And guess what? MB crying face. <laughs> He's a fucking jackass. <laughs>